Another five-minute mystery. In a hospital on the east side, a dying patient gives a last expiring gasp. <clears throat> He's gone. Slipped through my fingers like water running through a sieve. It's not your fault, Dr. Grant. You've done everything you could. The hospital certainly not failed to... Nurse, this man should never have died. Something's wrong. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure that James Towner here did not die of the ailment he came to this hospital for. Nurse, I'm going to get permission to perform an autopsy. Your hunch was right, Dr. Grant. What is it? Tell me, Jones. When we tested Towner's blood in the lab, a foreign substance showed up immediately. I didn't recognize it, but one of my assistants seemed to think he knew what it was. So I let him make tests. A rare poison used only by the South American Indians was introduced into the bloodstream of the victim. It killed him, all right. But that's impossible, Dr. Grant. Jones, did your man say whether this poison could have been taken through food or... I thought of that, too. He swears it is the only effective way when it is taken directly into the bloodstream. And is there any antidote? Uh, not known. My man says the Indians obtain a certain immunity by injecting themselves with small amounts over a long period of time. How could that poison have gotten into Towner's bloodstream? Doctor, I was with the patient every minute he was here. I could swear he had nothing intravenous during the whole time except the transfusions. Two of them which you ordered yourself. The transfusions? Who was the donor? Uh, Mr. Harkness, a friend of Towner's, happened to be visiting him. The friend immediately offered him blood. Towner was grateful and accepted. Harkness said something about his being the least he could do. We tested his blood and found it the right type, so we did the transfusion. I think we ought to investigate Harkness. But, Dr. Grant, I'm positive that Mr. Harkness did not even touch Mr. Towner during the whole time of his illness. If what I'm thinking is true, Harkness had something to do with the death of James Towner just the same. Well, we were certainly lucky, Doctor. There's no question about it. Harkness is your man. I knew it. I knew it. I've had Harkness investigated by the police. He's mentioned in Towner's will. Gets the whole estate. The police have searched his apartment and found just what I expected. I feel my medical judgment has been vindicated, Jonesy. You're right, Doctor. We're going to have this man Harkness arrested for the murder of James Towner. Do you know what the doctor and the laboratory technician discovered which indicated to them that Harkness murdered his friend Towner? The doctor will tell you in a moment. And now, back to our story. Well, Doctor, what have you found? The thing that indicated to me the fact that Harkness had a hand in the murder of James Towner was something Jones said when he spoke of the poison and the way the South American Indians gained immunity from it. I deduced that probably, against the chance that his so-called friend would need a transfusion, Harkness had so immunized himself over a period of time. If he had, the poison would still be in his blood in some quantity, small perhaps, but enough to react unfavorably on Towner in his condition. A police search verified my hunch. And now, Harkness is being tried for one of the most unusual murders that has ever come to my attention. 